Hello and welcome back to our Thursday evening class. Um, we have a nice uh, flow for you today. Um, and the theme, the, the kind of overarching theme of today is imperfection. So uh, a lot of times this manifests in yoga as not being able to do the shape like other people do it or like the teacher does it or um, how you've seen people on Instagram do it or it's you just didn't quite catch it you know the, the flow goes too fast or people seem to know what's going on and you don't and then also um, in the stillness that yoga can create in those still moments in those shavasanas in those deep breaths sometimes the imperfections point inwards and we reflect on ways we could have or should have been better or done more or fixed things or applied ourselves differently and this is an invitation to say screw it like we're here now we're here now and uh things are good you know things are okay you're still standing you're still here at yoga you made it this far the road might be a little bumpy but you made it so with that in mind let's come on to our math so we're going to come into a comfortable seated position um one a leg crossed over the other. Just find your alignment. Take a moment. Take a deep breath. Deep breath in right into where you're storing everything in your belly. And then exhale. Let it all out. All of that self-doubt or self-criticism. Just in this moment, deep breath in. Find where you're storing all of that self-deprecation. And exhale. Release it into the air. Take a couple moments like this. Tap in on your inhale, release it on your exhale. Eyes can close if you choose. One more like this, allowing the body to relax as well. Deep breath in, slow, full release. And if your eyes were closed, allow them to blink open. We're gonna move into a seated cat cow. So from here, hands can be over the knees or wherever is comfortable. Inhale, press the belly button through, heart through, chest through, gaze lifts. Exhale, press belly button back, rounding the spine like a, a curve or a wave. Inhale, press through, ending with that chin lifting. Exhale, starting with the belly, curve back. Inhale, press through. Exhale, press away. One more like that, try to extend Expand even more and exhale, contract even more. Inhale to come up to a neutral spine, just up, down, aligned spine. Inhale, drop the left fingers down. Inhale, right arm up. Then exhale, lean towards that left hand as much as you like in the side stretch. Take it easy. We're just warming up. Inhale to come up. And then exhale, lower. I just garden, so I have like, kind of like itchy thorn cuts on my arms. <laughs> Inhale, left arm up. Exhale. And by garden, I mean finally weeded our little teeny patch of green space, which was so covered in weeds and debris that literally people were throwing trash in it thinking it was an abandoned lot. So no more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, left arm on down. Take it one more time, a little faster. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, lean. Next, inhale, switch right away. Exhale, lean. From here, inhale, both arms up to the sky. Get a little bit of space between the vertebrae. Energy up through the fingers. Let the breath out. Retain the stretch. Inhale up. Exhale. Try your best to roll over onto your hands and knees. That might take several clumsy steps. Embrace it. You didn't know that was coming. 
you don't know what, what's in my mind for today's class. And now we find ourselves in our tabletop position. Take a moment, move through any other uh, gentle warming movements. I'm just demonstrating a few little options, some cat cows with toes tucked or untucked. Sending my hips back, whatever feels good. You can wag your tail. Just allow that spine to become mobile, really lubricated. Using the shoulders. I literally just like do like a little like dance here. When you feel good to go, come back into a little bit of stillness. Take a deep breath, gaze between your thumbs and let it out. Excellent. We're gonna press the right foot back, tuck the toes, stacking shoulders over wrists, and then press left leg back, high plank. At any point you wanna drop to low plank, please do. Squeezing the glutes, inhale, exhale. Inhale, bringing right knee to nose. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, left knee to nose, cheetah pose. Exhale, send it back. Final one. Inhale, right knee to right elbow. Take a moment. And as best you can, send that foot on the outside of that right pinky. So we're activating a lot right away. Gently drop the back knee. You can tuck or untuck the back toes. Take a moment in lizard. Feel into that hip. You can turn the right toes slightly to the right and guide that knee slightly out if that feels good for you. Alternatively, you can keep the toes pointing ahead and squeeze that knee towards your um, upper arm and arm towards leg. Excellent. We're going to tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, inhale. Exhale, we're going to turn out the back toe, almost like you're going into a warrior two with the lower body. And then walk hand over hand to the middle of the mat. Both toes point behind you. Take a breath, halfway lift. And nice and steady, no rush, support in your hands. Begin to bend into your right leg. Our extended leg malasana. Send that heart forward. And then exhale, lift the hips once more, bending into the left leg as we walk hand over hand to the back of the mat. Frame that left foot. Take a moment. Keep those toes tucked, square the hips. Using your hands on your thigh, rise up, crescent pose. Whoo! Take a breath. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff you didn't know was coming. A lot of rotation, dynamic movement on the mat. If it wasn't perfect, how could you hold yourself to that standard? You couldn't know where we were going. If it was perfect, like also cool. Take a breath here, inhale. Exhale, plant the hands on either side of the foot. Continue to move slowly. We're still warming our bodies into practice. So take a breath here, settle into this supported lunge. We're gonna step that left leg back, lower the knees, inhale, heart shifts forward. Exhale, lower, leading with the chest. Untuck the toes, baby cobra, elbows pulled in, bent, heart shines out. And then an exhale, come to your knees, shift the hips back, any kind of child's pose you like. I'm dropping my knees out to the sides, touching my big toes together. <sighs> Take a breath. We're gonna inhale, walk the right fingers out like a little centimeter out, breathe into the right rib cage, and exhale, melt here. <sighs> inhale, walk left fingers a smidgen forward, Breathe into the left ribs. Exhale, settle here. And continue that pattern. Even if your fingers don't actually move forward, feel that stretching of the right fingers on the breath and the, the in-breath. The settling on the out-breath, same thing on the left.
Wonderful. And then on an inhale, come lifting those hips up, square the knees, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, cat cow. Good. So now as we keep going with your cat and cow, but as we begin to get our minds prepared for the other side, we have a little bit of muscle memory as to where we're going. Even if you have no like rational idea of like what's happening next, your body might find some of this a little bit familiar and you're a little bit more warm now. So notice any difference you feel on this side. Notice if there is more or less smoothness or if there's more or less sense of flow. So you kind of ease from one shape to the next, to the next, but kind of never stop moving. Luigi, the famous like jazz dancer, choreographer, his, his like catchphrase was never stop moving, don't stop moving, never stop moving. So since we're all Luigi prodigies, let's get going. So really clamp um, your hands down underneath your shoulders, index fingers pointing front, extend the left leg back, toes tucked, begin to feel um, energy out through that left heel towards the back wall and right leg follow suit, inhale. Maybe you need to shift a little forward so that the shoulders are truly atop of the wrists. Take a breath. Next, inhale, lifting the left knee towards nose, cheetah pose. Exhale, send it back. Whew. Inhale, right. And this time, inhale, left knee towards left elbow, little side crunch, and on an exhale, <clears throat> Plant it down in one or several smooth or clumsy steps outside the left pinky. Exhale, <coughs> little allergies. Lower the right knee. And just find your lizard here. Blocks are highly endorsed for this shape. So maybe well, you know you, you like to go all the way down. If that's already in your practice, you feel warm enough, feel free to take it wherever you want. But I absolutely encourage keeping it tall. Feeling in the integrity of the shape that you are making. Just working here to send that heart forward. Maybe a slight turn out of the left toes. Breathing here. Even though we're in this pose for a period of time, we never stop flowing in it. So we inhale, perhaps we engage the inner thighs. And then exhale, we settle, all of these subtle little adjustments. Excellent. Now we're gonna plant the hands, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, turn out the right toes as if you're going into warrior two, walk hand over hand to face the back long edge of your mat, square the toes so they're both facing straight ahead. And then exhale, bending into the left leg, extended leg, Malasana. Whew. You have the option to turn the right toes up to the ceiling, or you can just keep the hips lifted, right toes planted firmly on the ground, pointing front. Take a breath wherever feels good. And then exhale, lifting the hips one more time. Walking hand over hand, bending into the right leg as we square the hips to the original short edge of the mat that we started at. Coming into our high lunge. Using the thigh, press the body up, gripping through the big toes and the big toe mounds to keep our stability. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, steady hold. Crescent lunge. Inhale, arms up. Victorious breath upward and out. And then exhale, plant the hands nice and steady on either side of the front foot. Whew, step it back, move through any chaturanga. Whew. And when you're ready to drop the knees, please do so and move back into a child's pose. Perhaps you wanna bring in a different child's pose. If your knees were out before, keep the knees stacked under the hips perhaps and just send it back. Wherever you are, feel free to take different arms, maybe arms out to the sides and you prop up on those fingertips and gently rock your body right to left. This is not a big movement. Just kind of 
playing with toggling back and forth. Alternatively, you can drop the forehead, use the arms to clasp your hands behind you and just drop, relax the elbows in any fashion, or you can keep the elbows on the ground, make a little prayer and send those hands over the back of your neck. You are enough. You are literally perfect in human imperfection. So just don't worry. Just don't worry. You're good. You're good. You're here in this space. At the very least, you are safe and free from judgment. We're going to plant our hands on the ground and begin to rise into our tabletop, making any little adjustments. Whew. We're going to walk our palms forward, begin to tuck the toes and send our hips into a little bit of a downward dog. This again, not the most perfect downward dog. It's our first downward dog. So let your body be where it is. Maybe you walk out the feet to wake it up a little to um, activate the downward dog muscles and structure of the bones. Take a breath in stillness. Side out. <sighs> Let's take another inhale and then side out with some gusto. <sighs> So we're going to gaze forward, lift the heels, feel the belly button pulling towards the sky, almost like it's going to lift your legs right off the ground. And in fact, it does as you step one foot forward and the other, keeping that booty high in the sky, bend those knees, forward fold, reaching for opposite elbows, feel free to give yourself a gentle rock, releasing the tension in the neck, letting the head be nice and heavy exactly as it is. No need to change, adjust, modify. You're just rocking with the current, going with the flow, or as my one good friend says, she says, we're, go we're flowing with the go. And I was like, that makes no sense. And I love it. On an exhale, release the hands, rooting through those feet. Feel the grip of the feet. Roll up, bone by bone, muscle by muscle. Pull it back, inhale. High, tall mountain, hands clasp, heart center. Excellent. Take a moment in standing, feeling connected to the floor beneath you, through your feet, through your strong and stable legs. And if you're practicing this in a chair, which is always possible, feel the connection through the feet. Bend your knees, reach those arms out and up. Exhale, send it forward. Inhale, halfway lift wherever that lives today. And exhale, float it on down. Plant the hand, step one foot back, and then the other, take a breath. And then exhale, whoo, lift those hips downward facing dog. Inhale, right heel lifts. Exhale, knee to nose, like before. Maybe we step in one or several little squeegee steps. Come into your high lunge. Excellent. Take a breath. Inhale, heart shines forward, coming maybe to your fingertips. Exhale, we're going to rotate the back toes again, like we're going into that downward, uh, the warrior two. Walk hand over hand to get to the center. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, forward fold. From here, you're gonna send the heels towards each other and toes towards each other. Heels and toes, kind of like a weird little cartoon character. Until they're about shoulder width distance apart, toes facing out, begin uh, to send the hips down. I will turn to face you so you see what's actually happening. Hips coming down. Elbows can be in between the legs, kind of caught, uh, creating a little resistance, or you could just keep the hands on the ground, go as low or as high, or don't do it as much as you want. So it's like a pretty intense hip opener. If you're here and you're great, work on little refinements, sending that heart open, gripping through all 10 toes. Excellent, I'm gonna turn back around. We're gonna inhale, 
Roll those hips up, toes pointing to the front. Exhale, bend those knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Hands come to hips. Turn the left toes to the short edge of the, the, the back edge of your mat. Bend into the right knee, because we're gonna step it forward. Whew. Here we are, facing the other side of the mat. The socks are a menace. <laughs> so now we're at the short end of our mat. Walk it out, take stock. Tell yourself something kind, which might feel weird and like false or like cheesy. Maybe we should get in the habit of being a little cheesy to ourselves. You know, the way you might to like a little kid who like hurt themselves or something or to like a dog, like you are literally flawless because in my eyes you are, you know, you are perfect by simply existing. Like, you know, I'll do it for you. You are perfect by simply existing. It takes a lot to exist. <laughs> let, me let me tell you. All right, so now we are here. We've arrived at the back shortage of our mat. Bend your knees, reach your arms up. Find that victorious, uplifting energy. Shine it out to the heavens. And you can't see, but I'm wiggling my fingers for the heavens. And then exhale, Ooh, send it down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, fold. Step one, lay back. Then the other. Move through any chaturanga or not, and we will meet in downward facing dog to prepare for left. Take a breath in. Let it release, release tension with it. One more breath in. Let all the stuff you wanna let go of hit your ride on that exhale. Inhale, left heel lifts. Exhale, shifting forward, knee to nose. Stepping between high lunge, we take a moment. There she goes again, Alexa. She just goes and goes, and I'm not even trying. <laughs> and we're going to begin to turn the back foot to the back edge of the mat. Walk hand over hand, squaring both feet to the back, just like we did. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And here, feel free to bend your knees and walk your feet out a little more. Maybe you can even like graze the mat with your hair or something. And you can walk your legs out as much as you feel you want to for this. Maybe some people are like, yeah, my head is on the floor. Maybe some people are like, absolutely not. You take it wherever you want to take it. These are just some variety. I'm gonna inhale, halfway lift again. Exhale, bend the knees and heel toe those feet closer together until your heels are about shoulder width distance apart. You might have to make small adjustments. Bend those knees like a frog. Send those hips down, Malasana. So again, I'm gonna face you, but you stay exactly as you are. Whew. Deep breath in and out. And then we're gonna place the fingers on the ground. Oh, kind of squeezing that pelvic floor in and up to lift the hips, uh, turning the toes forward. I'll be facing this way. Bend your knees, roll on up, nice and slow, bit by bit. Shake it out when you get to the top. <sighs> turning the right toes to the front of the mat, bending into the left leg. <sighs> we step it forward. Good job. Wonderful, you've made it. So let's wind it on down. All right, so let's face the long edge of that. Let's face each other. I'm gonna take my right leg. Ooh. I'm gonna swing it around till it crosses behind my left and then just bend into my knees uh, using my hands as soon as I can to get there. Ooh, uncross your legs, shake it out. So roll over onto our bellies into a sphinx. So elbows under shoulders, palms flat on the ground, toes untucked, almost like you want to pull the mat behind you. There's like an intensity of sort of ferocity in this position. Gaze ahead, very steady, deep breath. One more breath in. 
On your exhale, you're going to begin to make a little pillow for your head, lifting the left knee towards the left elbow, flexing that left foot. Come into a half frog. Take a breath. Take a break. Take a rest. Take five. Just find a place that's comfortable. One more breath in. And exhale. Oh, let that left leg meet the right leg long at the bottom. Next inhale, right knee is going to travel towards the right elbow. Flexing that foot, inner edge of the foot along the ground, and melt into it. One more breath in. Exhale. Oh. Allow that leg to come on back. Hands are going to place, are going to um, plant underneath your shoulders. Elbows bent and drawing towards each other. Baby cobra or maybe like an upward jog motion of the body. And wherever you are, move through your tabletop. We're going to open the knees as wide as the mat. Cross one ankle over the other. Send the hips over. Take a breath in your easy seat. And exhale, hands come to heart, or you can uh, stack one hand over the other. Find your alignment. Chin is slightly dropped to accentuate the length of the back of the neck. Shoulders are nestled down and back in their pockets. Maybe you want to scoop away any flesh from your sits bones. One breath in. On the exhale, allow the gaze to soften, eyes perhaps close. So we take a seated Shavasana. You're fighting yourself. Just note that it's okay. We fight ourselves all the time. And now let that go too. You're like, oh, hey, in my experience, there's some, there's some turbulence, there's some motion, maybe a little chaos. Once we acknowledge the chaos, maybe we can willfully set it aside, make room for another part of us that wants some attention, the part of us that is peaceful. Create a little space for peace to grow. A little heartbeat. It doesn't have to be strong, but the peace, the rest is there. You are more than enough. Begin to believe that you set the standards for yourself. You also have the power to loosen your grip, to loosen your hold on your performance, your output, your productivity, the praise, the validation that makes you whole. You are already whole. You are more than enough. Give yourself a break. A couple more moments. Breath in. 
in nice and strong. Feel into your power, into the integrity of your whole structure sitting here strong. And let it out, share it with your community. Inhale, hands come to prayer, thumbs come to forehead center, deep breath in, and exhale to bow forward. Here, I would like to thank you for your practice, for your life, for your energy, and for the community we create together. I offer you namaste. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>